Hello there, my name's Sam and I've created a 3D printed swinging tower ride. Um, it's based off of the ride uh, Windseeker that's made by Mondial Rides and um, I've made it fully operational and I've built a control system for it and so I just wanted to make a short video and explain um, how I made it, uh, what parts I chose and how it works. So here you go. So I'd like to start by just going over the ride, um, the components, and how it functions. So inside this cover here is a NEMA 17 stepper motor, which drives the elevator, so the up and down motion for this ride. And so that motor is attached to a drum, which has fishing lines spooled around it, and that drum will pull fishing line all the way through the tower around this wheel here and then all the way down to the carousel which will pull up and down so that is the elevator motion of the ride now the carousel motion or the spinning motion is driven by this DC motor here um, it's got a gear on it and then it has a gear going around the uh, carousel or the chassis to spin it around and this is powered by bus rails which I made myself um, it uses copper tape which at the bottom here are attached to screws with leads on them and then on this side is attached to acorn nuts and screws which are attached to leads on this side which attach to the motor. So it gets power through these rails all the time. For positioning, I'm using one limit switch, which is found right there. This is my home position limit switch, and I use it to basically home the ride so if the ride is in a position where it doesn't know its position, say it was just turned on, um, I can manually home it and give the ride a zero position to start out. So the last bit of electronics I have on the ride is a lighting package. It uses four RGB LED strips which run up and down the tower and those are all driven off of this lighting controller here which is a K1000C lighting controller it runs a program off of an SD card which you can program yourself uh, it's pretty nifty um, so all those LEDs run off of a 5 volt 
20 amp power supply and everything else in the box is ran off the 12 volt power supply I have here so that includes the Arduino which is kind of the brains of the ride and the Arduino talks to two motor drivers it's got the DC motor driver down here and then our stepper motor driver right here um, it also has some inputs going to it which are off of this control panel here I've got an input for maintenance mode off mode and automatic mode and then I've got ride start and ride stop buttons so not too complex but just enough to be dangerous so now I'm gonna go over the operations of the ride so first I'm gonna turn it on and now that we have power we're almost ready to start but I have one problem and that's that the ride has no idea where it's at so it doesn't know if it's halfway up the tower at the top or at the bottom so what we need to do is actually home the carousel so we're going to do that by going to maintenance mode and hitting ride start and what this is going to do is it's going to raise the carousel about an inch off the ground then lower it until it sees the limit switch which it just clicked in so now that we're on that limit switch in the program I tell the stepper motor that this is your zero position so it knows that hey this is my home position I should go back here at the end of the cycle so now that we're on the home position and our stepper motor is zeroed out um, I can start a cycle in auto mode so I go to auto mode and I hit ride start and I'll start a normal cycle so now that I'm running I can do a couple different things I can stop the ride which is considered a ride stop and what that's going to do is it's going to stop the carousel, it's going to stop the elevator, and it's going to bring the ride back down to the home position in a controlled fashion. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to hit ride stop. It stopped the elevator. Stop the carousel. And now we're going to go back home. So that's simulated a ride stop, and from there we can immediately start back up because it was an operator induced stop. So now I'm going to simulate an e-stop. So although I don't have an e-stop button, I programmed it so if you change the key switch during the ride cycle, it'll actually simulate an e-stop. So I'm in auto mode, I'm going to start another cycle, and I'm going to simulate an e-stop right now so both motors came to a stop and the ride is stuck where it's at so that simulates someone hitting the emergency stop button and everything coming to a stop so from here I can't just go back to automatic mode and start the ride I actually have to get maintenance permissions to get the ride back to the ground so I go to maintenance mode and I hit ride start and what this does is going to raise it an inch and then go back down until it finds the home limit switch so that's the main functions or the main operations of the ride and I hope you guys enjoyed this video there's going to be more rides coming so stay tuned I've got big plans um, so Hope you like it. Have a great day. Bye.